bets, there's part of my own personal story that a lot of people don't know and that I love to share, and is that I am a brain tumor survivor. In 2004, I was diagnosed with two brain tumors. It was such a life check and I just never expected something like that to happen to me. To this day, I'm still here, No, ever, never had a sign of cancer, and I still have my brain tumors as well. But even better, this past December, I was cleared by my neurosurgeon to never have to come back again. I think this is such an important cause because I think a lot of time brain tumor survivors and brain cancer is swept under the rug and not talked about it a lot. Uh, um, just like me, there's some hope out there during this really crazy time. Right my now. journey began 19 years ago this month when I did hear those words, you have a brain tumor and you need it removed immediately, I do. I'm excited to say as of my most recent yearly MRI this month, there's been no evidence of tumor reoccurrence and I consider myself so very blessed. Survivor has been a very empowering word for me. When someone told me that I was considered a survivor from the moment I heard the words, you have brain cancer, it gave me a sense of hope and perseverance. Let's help bring hope to those battling this disease so that in the future, long-term survival is, and a cure is not considered a miracle, but an expectation. Hi, my name is Tara, and I am a 22-year survivor of um, brain cancer, medulloblastoma, and I am also a four-year survivor of breast cancer. Throughout both my ordeals, I was always told by the doctors that I would have a slim to none chance of ever getting pregnant. I, I always wanted to be a mom, but I was always fearful that that wasn't going to happen because of what the doctors told me. Well, become July 14th of 2020, I became a mom to this little beauty, Lillian. No matter what the doctor says, if you feel like you can do it, then try. Just always have faith and if you feel like you can do it, you can do it.